Our patient today has had a previous injury to a central cornea with a metallic foreign body, which was subsequently removed and left a scar at the apex of his cornea. And the healing process uh, was imperfect, so his remaining best corrected visual acuity was 2040. He elected, after uh, discussing the options, to have a corneal debridement with an acellular amniotic graft and bandage contact lens to try to heal his cornea in a fashion that would uh, improve his visual acuity. So here we've used an algebra brush to debride his central cornea. We use tetravisc to anesthetize the eye. We find the tetravisc provides uh, slightly deeper anesthesia and we're now uh, going to uh, remove the extra loose epithelium to prepare his cornea for the graft. Before we apply the graft we're going to instill a drop of uh, combination uh, antibiotic uh, anti-inflammatory, in this case we're using xylet, and then a drop of diclofenac. With many of our patients who have this procedure, we'll also elect to cycloplege the eye, and that's what we're doing here as well. Now, many other individuals who use amniotic grafts uh, use uh, forceps to restrain the lids during the procedure. We have found that uh, using hand holding is a lot more comfortable for the patient. It's a lot easier to control. So we have two individuals involved, one to hold lids and the other to uh, apply the graft and contact lens. Here we're doing our best to uh, dry the eye with a Wexel sponge and now we're going to hold the lids back through the remainder of the procedure. So I'm holding the lids back and my partner is going to, uh, after we dry the cornea, apply the amniotic graft. We're using a 10 millimeter aerial graft. very important to dry the eye as best possible. Here we're using forceps to apply the graft and now the Wexel sponge to dab it down and again we're going to let it dry so that it does not move around underneath the contact lens. In this case as well we're going to use a sealant called the Rasher corneal sealant which is a bioadhesive uh, to help ensure that the graft doesn't move. We don't use these in all of our cases, but we find it helpful with some. Here we're mixing the sealant with two drops there, and we wait five, we stir for five seconds, and we only have a short window after stirring before the uh, cross-linking prevents us from using the glue, so we have to cut right to it, apply a dab or two, In this case, right at 12 o'clock. And again, we're going to let it dry for at least 30 seconds, preferably as much as a minute, before we actually go ahead and put the contact lens over. Here comes the contact lens we're using in this case, 
and where we've had a lot of success with this particular bandage after experimenting with several is a true eye uh, by uh, Johnson & Johnson. It's a true eye one day lens but uh, using it off-label as a bandage we've had a lot of success.